Hey Outdoors family, welcome to Infantry Outdoors. Yours truly, your favorite disabled outdoorsman, DJ Infantry here for Tuesday's tips, tricks, and techniques. Today, I'm coming to you live from the studios of my day job, WAVS 1170 AM radio. You know, as a DJ and YouTuber, I do a lot of traveling, I'm out on the road, and I go to a lot of places. And one of the ways I offset costs and have a good time is I like to camp. Going to campgrounds for fishing tournaments, going to campgrounds just to go camping, um, hiking, whatever it might be. I love the outdoors to where I'd rather stay in a campground than I really would in a hotel sometimes, depending on the season, mind you, and where I'm going to be in the country. On tips, tricks, and techniques, we're going to talk about choosing your campground and why it's important to book early. First of all, choosing your campground can make or break your trip, especially if you have a family and kids like I do. Now, if it's a simple guys trip out, hey, we're going to take the hammocks, great, let's go as primitive as we can, put on the backpacks, whatever we can carry, we can carry, but you know, sometimes we've got to bring the wife, kids, and the family. Keep that in mind. So choosing your campground is super important. Now, first of all, I want to talk about the facilities. You don't want to book your campground far from the facilities because if you have to take your kid to the bathroom at 2 in the morning, you don't want to have to walk half a mile to the, you know, the rest area. So keep that in mind when booking your campground that you want to try to keep the facilities close by if you have a family. If you are going primitive, well, you guys know the deal. Survival says dig a hole, bury it, have a good day. So, again, choosing your campground is very important, and it will make or break your trip. When going camping, take personal recommendations. Ask your friends if they've ever been there. Um, I like to go on Instagram or Facebook and post where I'm going and take comments, take recommendations from viewers, from subscribers, from friends. I take advice from anybody. If you've ever been there, I want to hear, did you have a good time? What did you like to do? What should I check out? What should I stay away from? So take recommendations when and wherever you can get it. Also, do your research. Take the time to call ahead, talk to the people, say, hey, I'm thinking about coming up. I have, I have a family. I don't have a family. Uh, what type of camping I'm looking to do. What do you offer? What do you not offer? What facilities are on site? And a lot of the times the campgrounds will give you the information. Now also keep in mind for my disabled viewers that a lot of the campgrounds offer disability discounts uh, for camping and for entry fees. St uh, national parks offer free admittance and discounts for the disabled through their programmings which you can check out in your area. Uh, state parks, some state parks offer discounts for camping for the disabled as well. So these are things that you should look into and check out uh, as you're going to book your campground. And again, call ahead and ask questions to the people that work there. What off? What do you offer for my kids? What do you offer? What's around you? Um, you know, keeping in mind I'm not from your area. Uh, is there any amusement parks? Is there any activities? All of these things you need to take into consideration when booking your campsite. And the last thing I want you to remember when booking your campsite is that weather conditions are not always going to be ideal. So on those rainy days, on those wet days, on the days that you can't go out and enjoy nature the way that you intended, what's in the area for you guys to do and what can you do when it's soggy, wet, and just not a, a fun dime? Before we go, don't forget to book early. The earlier that you book, the better chances you have of getting that campground that you and your family really enjoy. Me and my family, use the same campgrounds when we go back because we enjoy them so much but we always make sure that we book them with plenty of time in advance i'm in south florida so certain times of the year we have the snowbirds come down the people from up north and they it's hard to get campgrounds on last minute notice so make sure that you book in advance check your for your facilities and make sure you keep in mind what are you going to do on the days that while you're there you can't go outside and play Thanks for watching Tuesday's tips, tricks, and techniques. And if you have a comment, drop it below. Remember to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, stay subscribed, guys. We've got a lot coming up for you this year. So until next Tuesday, I'm DJ Infantry for Infantry Outdoors.